What I'm interested in is those cases where either surgery is not applicable Mm -hmm. or surgery can be enhanced using some cell therapy or something like a chronic disease like osteoarthritis where surgery may not be feasible, may not be possible, may not be affordable, and you're looking for something else biological to get involved in. Mm -hmm. So my journey started really with... um, using platelet-rich plasma. And when platelet-rich plasma came along in a, in a form that was um, easily applicable to practice, so using a filter, so it meant that we could take blood from the patient itself, yep. extract the platelets, concentrate them in an injection and inject those back into, say, a joint or a tissue where we wanted um, to have some trophic effects, some repairing. Um, and it worked pretty well. So just, just, to, just to do a quick aside here, because again, yeah. we've got people listening who, who may not know what a platelet is. And so platelets are the, the, the tiny little fragmented red blood cell derivatives, if you like, that help with clotting process. So why, why would they be any good for the healing? Arthritis? True. Yeah. So if you look in a textbook, the platelets are referred to as a fragment of, of mm. a cell. Mm-hmm. I think that's doing them a great disservice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So they come from the bone marrow from a great big precursor cell called a megakaryocyte, which is a great big multinucleate cell. And they are made there and then released into the circulation. Um, and they've got granules in them um, of various kinds. And inside these granules, uh, they're packed with growth factors. So in the old days, oh, certainly when I was at veterinary school, we were taught that platelets are for blood clotting. Yeah. A nice little story. Okay. And that was the end of the chat, really. That was all she wrote. <laughs> but now it. we realize, <laughs> yeah, now we realize that a platelet, yes, it's involved in blood clotting. So it's part of the emergency response, if you like, but it's very much like a first responder. So it's not only um, a cell, I'll call it a cell, even though it doesn't have a nucleus. It's not only a cell that, is involved in blood clotting, but it's also involved in the response to injury and to coordinating the healing. So it recruits other cells. Uh, it's full of um, factors which um, aid the healing process. So it's a great sort of natural thing to harness. So if you want to get into regenerative medicine and you want a stepping off point, and platelet-rich plasma is a really good place to start. It's easy to do, okay? All you need is to take blood from your patient. And it's autologous, which means it goes from your patient after processing back into the same patient. 